Hey there, so even though it's a really nice day outside, it looks really sunny, it's really breezy and it's kind of cool. And so today I'm going to be washing some of this blue-faced Lester that, that I have. It's filled with vegetable matter and it smells really sheepy. Um, there is some yellowing or some canarying, I guess is what everyone's calling it. And I don't know if that's going to come out or not. I'm not using a special wool soap because it's so expensive. Um, I'm gonna be using a little bit of Dawn. Um, and I think I'm really gonna err on the side of caution and use a lot less. So I don't have to rinse it as much. Uh, so what I've done to get it set up here, I've got another five gallon bucket and it's got a kind of like one of those gym bags in it. And I'm gonna get my water really hot. I'm gonna get a little detergent in there and then add my wool to it. So uh, let me get that going, grab my gloves. One of these has a hole in them. Not sure which. I think I only need one glove though. I don't intend on getting both of my hands in there. I had a thermometer out yesterday and uh, I just want to caution you about this. Uh, I measured the water temperature and it was 150 degrees. It's really hot. We don't have a, a regulator on our water system because we don't have kids in the house. Um, but 150 degrees is really, really hot. I think we're about there, so um, let's just get that filled up. And um, I've got a towel ready for later after we do the rinse. But I think what I'm gonna do is pause this and then once I've got the water in there, we'll go ahead and maybe get a closer up of the wool in the bucket. I think that's more interesting. So see you in a second. Okay, so I have my assistant helping me out a little bit here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get a little bit of the detergent in this super hot water that has this little mesh bag in it. And I'm gonna add, I guess about this much and kind of swish it around. I don't want to agitate the wool at all while it's in here. And I'm not going to put all of it in at once. I'm going to take, I don't know, maybe about half of what I have and just sort of park it in there. Can you see the how these locks are sort of intertwined? I find that really interesting. And I'm just going to literally gently immerse it. I'm really tempted to want to swish it around, but we all know that we can buy felt somewhere else and we don't want it in our bucket. So there it is, a oh, little piece left. Um, and I'm gonna set my timer for 30 minutes and Lord help me, I've got a hole in my glove and that was so hot. So um, 30 minutes later, we're gonna do a little rinse activity and we'll get moving on from there. Okay, so I'm finishing up. I did my second scouring and I'm rinsing it in cold water. It's still in the mesh bag and the water in the bucket is significantly more clear. And it's time to shut off the water. And I'm just gonna give this a very gentle squeeze. Just get some excess water out. And once I do that, I'm gonna roll it up into a towel to get some of the excess moisture out. Tell you this, it smells a whole lot better. A lot. 
Okay, so over to the towel. Let me pull this up a little bit. Unroll it. I kind of flatten it out just a little bit. You can still see these hay have been, these uh, sheep have been really busy out there in the fields because you can see lots of matter still in there. I don't know if it was hay or fast food or what, but they were eating it. So rolling it up. And I'm just going to do like a press on it. And then we're going to have to go back to my studio where I have a sweater drying mat set up and we'll have a look back there. So come on with me. <laughs> Nobody tripping over anything. All right. So we're going to unroll here. And I wish I could have done this outside, but it's just too windy. And once this wool started drying, it would have blown away. And I'm going to kind of spread it out. The moisture is really holding it together. But as I pull it apart, you can see it hasn't felted. The locks are just really still pretty wet and uh, it just needs probably 24 hours to dry and it will take a lot of combing with these Viking brushes. This is what I use for home protection as well. These are very sharp and we don't want to uh, get too involved with those until we're ready. So basically that's what it is. I'm just gonna let this uh, sit out here and dry. It's not dripping through because I've squeezed some moisture out. And I wanted to compare it really quickly to see if any of the color has changed. This is the unwashed or unscoured. And I think we're stuck with the same color. I don't think any of the yellowing or canarying will be coming out. So, Catch me next time when I get to combing and we'll see if we can't spin it up into something good. I don't know, maybe a pair of socks for my assistant, maybe. All right, till next time.